Qatar. Knows by most people now because of 2022 World Cup and its controversies around it. The state of Qatar, is a country in Western Asia. It occupies the small Qatar Peninsula on the northeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula in the Middle East, it shares its sole land border with Saudi Arabia to the south, with the rest of its territory surrounded by the Persian Gulf. The Gulf of Bahrain, an inlet of the Persian Gulf, separates Qatar from nearby Bahrain. The capital is Doha, home to over 80% of the country's inhabitants, and the land area is mostly made up of flat, low-lying desert. Qatar has been ruled as a hereditary monarchy by the House of Thani since Mohammed bin Thani signed a treaty with the British in 1868 that recognized its separate status. Following Ottoman rule, Qatar became a British protectorate in the early 20th century until gaining independence in 1971. The current emir is Tamim bin Hamad al Thani, who holds nearly all executive and legislative authority under the constitution of Qatar, as well as controlling the judiciary. He appoints the prime minister and cabinet. The partially elected Consultative Assembly can block legislation and has a limited ability to dismiss ministers. In early 2017, Qatar's total population was 2.6 million, with 313,000 of them Qatari citizens and 2.3 million expatriates. Its official religion is Islam. In terms of income, the country has the fourth highest GDP PPP, per capita in the world, and the 11th highest GNI per capita Atlas method. Qatar ranks 42nd in the Human Development Index, the third highest HDI in the Arab world. It is a high-income economy, backed by the world's third largest natural gas reserves and oil reserves. Qatar is one of the world's largest exporters of liquefied natural gas, and the world's largest emitter of carbon dioxide per capita. In the 21st century, Qatar emerged as a middle power in the Arab world through its resource wealth, as well as its globally expanding media group, Al Jazeera Media Network, and reportedly supporting several rebel groups financially during the Arab Spring. Qatar forms part of the Gulf Cooperation Council. Qatar's human rights record has been regarded by academics and non-governmental organizations as being generally poor, with restrictions on civil liberties such as the freedoms of association, expression in the press, as well as its treatment of thousands of migrant workers amounting to forced labor for projects in the country. The 2022 FIFA World Cup was awarded to Qatar under controversial circumstances, making it the first Arab country and the first in the Middle East to host the event. Qatar hosted the 2006 Asian Games, and will also host the 2030 Asian Games. Interesting Facts About Qatar The country presents a combination of tradition and modernity that's challenging to find elsewhere in the world. Qatar honors its legacy but still offers newbies and visitors trendy amenities, lodgings and infrastructure and a blend of global cultures, cuisines, and lifestyles. Qatar is a Muslim state where Islamic culture is followed in daily life. Prayers take place five times, and the accurate timing changes each day according to the sun's position. Ramadan in Qatar is splendid and blissful, with special embellishments across the country. Moreover, Qataris mention Shaban, the 14th day of the Hijri calendar, with al Nafla. Likewise, Families ready platters of conventional foodstuffs and share them with neighbors and needy people. Qatar Airways is the best airline in the world. Qatar Airways is a national airline, and it operates domestic and international flights. The airline presents a luxurious traveling mode. Qatar is the first Arab country to host FIFA World Cup 2022. One of the most thrilling occasions in football is the FIFA World Cup. Countries worldwide expect to be the next ones to host it. And in 2022, Qatar will be the first Arab country to control this big sports event. Not only that, but it will likewise be the smallest country ever to host it and the only one to keep it in the wintertime. Similarly, it will be the first ever carbon neutral World Cup. Qatar has sponsored this event enough, and it pledges to be a great World Cup when the time arrives. A huge teddy bear at Hamad International Airport When you arrive in Doha, you see a huge teddy bear in the main terminal of the Hamad International Airport. The tourists admire this piece of art. The average cost of this artistic piece is 6.8 million US dollars, and its weight is almost 20 tons. Qatar is declared the safest country in the world. It is an honor for Qatar to be ranked as the safest country globally for the third time in 2020. The dressing attitude in Qatar is relaxed, with a recommendation to wear a civilized dress. Interestingly, bargaining is in trend in souks and other traditional markets. All commercial and business activities shut down during Friday prayers timing. 
visitors can go to Hama General Hospital for health care and medical services in an emergency. Qatar has introduced a commercial 5G network and free Wi-Fi facility at Hamad International Airport, and at most public places, in malls, restaurants, and parks. Qatar is an Arab country. So the official language is Arabic. However, English is commonly spoken in public places. The country has very affection and respect for religious aspects, events, Ramadan, and Islamic festivals. The Majlis is one of the most significant rooms in Qatari life. The Majlis is a separate room that allows visitors to avoid the more private spaces in the house. Visitors in the Majlis are served dates and Arabic coffee in a characteristically shaped pot and small cups with no holds. Smoking is restricted in all public areas, including museums, sports courts, shopping centers, and restaurants. Violators have to pay a fine between car 1000-3000. The national dish of Qatar is mashpuz. General facts about Qatar Third best airport in the world Hamad International Airport Qatar has no forests. It is a country where the sea meets the desert, the national animal is the Arabian oryx. Qatar has very cheap gas, Qatar has the longest drilled oil well in the world. 99% of the Qatari residents live in Doha, the Doha Tower has no central core. The country's name dates back to 50 AD, the weekend falls on Fridays and Saturdays. Qatar owns many properties in London, England and Qatar, you will enjoy the desert safari adventure. Qatar has a lot of beaches, Qatar is one of the richest countries. Looking around at the amazing skyscrapers and stunning towers and projects like the Pearl Qatar, it should come as no surprise to you that Qatar is one of the richest countries in the world. Moreover, according to the International Monetary Fund's 2020 estimates, Qatar's gross domestic product, GDP, per capita is a whopping $138,910, putting it well ahead of Luxembourg's $112,045 in second place. Also, unsurprisingly, much of this wealth comes from petroleum and natural gas sources, which account for more than 60% of GDP. Qatar is the second flattest country in the world. You've probably noticed that the country is rather flat, but you probably didn't realize just how flat it is. It's the second flattest country globally with its most elevated point only 338 feet. Politics of Qatar Qatar is officially a semi-constitutional monarchy, but the wild powers retained by the monarchy have it still bordering an absolute monarchy ruled by the Al Thani family. The Al Thani dynasty has been ruling Qatar since the family house was established in 1825. In 2003, Qatar adopted a constitution that provided for the direct election of 30 of the 45 members of a legislature. The constitution was overwhelmingly approved in a referendum, with almost 98% in favor. Amiri Divan of the State of Qatar, Administrative Office of the Emir The eighth Emir of Qatar is Tamim bin Hamad al Thani, whose father Hamad bin Khalifa al Thani handed power to him on June 25, 2013. The Emir has the exclusive power to appoint the Prime Minister and Cabinet Ministers who, together, constitute the Council of Ministers, which is the supreme executive authority in the country. The Council of Ministers also initiates legislation. The Consultative Assembly is made up of 30 popularly elected members and 15 appointed by the Emir. It can block legislation with a simple majority and can dismiss ministers, including the Prime Minister, with a two-thirds vote. The Assembly had its first elections in October 2021 after several postponements. Qatari law does not permit the establishment of political bodies or trade unions. Qatar Law According to Qatar's constitution, Sharia law is the main source of Qatari legislation, although in practice, Qatar's legal system is a mixture of civil law and Sharia law. Sharia law is applied to family law, inheritance, and several criminal acts, including adultery, robbery and murder. In some cases, Sharia-based family courts treat a female's testimony as being worth half that of a man. Codified family law was introduced in 2006. Islamic polygyny is permitted. Judicial corporal punishment is a punishment in Qatar. Flogging is employed as a punishment for alcohol consumption or illicit sexual relations. Article 88 of Qatar's criminal code declares that the penalty for adultery is 100 lashes, and in 2006, a Filipino woman was sentenced that punishment. In 2010, at least 18 people, mostly foreign nationals, 
were sentenced to receive between 40 and 100 lashes for offenses involving illicit sexual relations or alcohol consumption. In 2011, at least 21 people, mostly foreign nationals, were sentenced to between 30 and 100 lashes for the same reasons, and in 2012, six expatriates were sentenced to either 40 or 100 lashes. Only Muslims considered medically fit are liable to have such sentences carried out. In April 2013, a Muslim expatriate was sentenced to 40 lashes for alcohol consumption, and in June 2014, a Muslim expatriate was sentenced to 40 lashes for consuming alcohol and driving under the influence.